I know you've got a bit of an engineering background, and so I was thinking your career, both of your careers together, have spanned a, you know a lot of a lot of time and seen so much change come in. And I'm wondering if you've gotten to play with all those all the new toys that have come out, and if or if you don't have any interest in that, you'd rather go back to the you know to the other, no. the other era. No, you have to move with the times. And the biggest thing, of course, is the fact uh, from production is the fact that uh, we are no longer using film. We're shooting digitally, which has some advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is you can shoot faster and uh, uh, more efficiently on location with the digital camera than you can with a film camera. So the actual production of films today shooting digitally uh, is much better. Uh, the problem in post-production is there's so much that's been shot that the editor and the director uh, spend forever uh, editing in post-production and that is elongated. But basically, uh, digital has been a plus. There are some aficionados who say they prefer the look of film and I can recognize that, but uh, I think the newest digital equipment is coming very close to uh, the look of film. I'm just annoyed that uh, <laughs> You know, I think there's a kind of conspiracy to keep some kind of mystical thing going about these different digital platforms, different digital methods that we need to use to get the film made, you know, a after it's shot, where they don't all jive and you have to go back and get it to reconfigure and then you get to the end and the, and the person who's doing the mix wants it another way and then that's another delay and so on. And I know they can form them all and they're just not doing it. So I'm annoyed. 